throughout my life, I've been known as being a curious person, probably to a fault. And that's, um, I think maybe the inception of, um, why I started my street epistemology channel. Uh, street epistemology is, um, I describe it as, uh, a neutral tool to help other people examine their own beliefs, uh, through questioning. I like to ask about misconceptions because there's always something that we can learn about something that we don't, that, that, you know, either myself or my audience or all of us can learn about something we don't know as much about. What would you say in your experience is one of the, maybe the biggest misconception about street epistemology or maybe even philosophy more broadly or kind of what you do on YouTube? Um, well, I think the biggest, I'm not sure I'm qualified to, identify any misconceptions with philosophy because there's just i don't even know what what conceptions are of it it's so broad but as far as street epistemology goes like um people think uh that because the first the book where where its origins are is uh it's called um uh a guide a guide to creating atheists or something like that. I haven't read it, but it's a book by Peter Bogosian. Um, and so the book, it street epistemology very explicitly does have its roots in atheism. And it also, uh, sort of sprung from the atheist community. Um, but I think a misconception is that the movement as it is today is, um, purely a method for atheists to, uh, deconvert, um, religious folks. Um, it's, it's a misconception in regards to how it's widely being practiced. You know, it's, it's just a, a neutral tool to help people examine their beliefs. Um, I'm sure that in practice, it's a lot of atheists who are using it still, though much less than, um, in the past percentage wise. Um, so that's one. Another one is that it's a, a manipulative tool, which makes it so that uh, one person doesn't have to uh, say their beliefs at all. Um, I'm sure that some people do use it that way, but uh, for me, um, I'll, I'm glad to reveal my positions on things uh, just, you know, after my part of the questioning is done.